42 seconds. James to Gallatin, back to James. Gallatin, far side one timer. Steves missed the net. Might have been blocked in front by the West or the Northern defense. Now to the front they score. Ben Steves, a power play goal. UMD leads it one nothing. Oh, right there. You can see the quick release. Goaltender was not ready for that because he thought he was going to go back door with it, but he just snaps it, doesn't dust it off, doesn't stick handle it, just boom, quick release. That puck jumps to him in the slot. Again, a big opportunity. UMD takes advantage of it. Ben Steves with his first. UMD had 21 goals in last year's freshman campaign, and they'll be looking for him, hoping that he can repeat it. One timer from the far side, they score! Luke Bass, his first as a Bulldog, a power play goal, it's 2 nothing. Well, guys, I said this is in the matter of a minute or less. It was Aaron Pionk throws it over as they walked in on a little mini three on two there off the wall. And Bast, the transfer from University of North Dakota. Thanks to back-to-back -back power play goals from Ben Steves and Luke Bast. Now a bouncing puck to Bentons. A shot, he scores! Kyle Bentons, the Bulldogs lead it three to nothing. Well, an unfortunate bounce for Northern Michigan. And bounces right to the middle of the ice. And the big fella, Kyle Bettens, who I thought had a great game last Saturday night, big, used his presence, his body, physically, gets involved. Young killers for Scott Sandlin thought they did a very good job last week. Now here comes Northern Michigan on the rebound. They score. It's Andre Gantus, the captain for the Wildcats, a power play goal. And Northern Michigan find the puck in the middle of the slot like that, like he just did. No problem there. He is a good enough player on that. We'll let him play, but Scott Sandlin expressing much of the same yeah. to the officiating crew here tonight. But nonetheless, Northern Michigan back to the Minnesota Power power play after Gantus got them on the board just moments ago. And a Bulldog without a stick comes to the near side. A shot they score. Tanner Latch. From the near side, face-off circle, a power play goal, it's three to two. He well, sat out with a lower body injury last year, guys, and they really liked his quick release. They wanted to get him into the lineup, and that's exactly what you need to do when you're running that fast passing out there. Schlain is normally the guy that would take that shot, so the defense. Bettens will clear the zone, tried to spring Steves on the breakaway. It's defended well by Gustafson Nyberg. Back on the attack is Northern Michigan, far side. Swept away there by UMD. Now a centering pass, top of the crease. Comes to the point, the shot, they score! Latch, his second of the period. It's tied, 3-3. Three, three. Not sure if we're gonna get a review on this, guys. There were two Northern players that were, if not in the blue paint, definitely very close to it. Right down in the slot, Stashkal had time to finally get back out of there. It looked like they vacated in time, but this is a Northern Michigan team that's always been straight. It's been all Northern Michigan this second period. Steves has it top of the near circle. He fires, he scores! Ben Steves, a power play goal. His second of the game, UMD back on top. Well, similar to those first goal, he uses the defenseman as a screen. That's Steves. He's, he's a shooter. You'll see here, he just steps and waits, uses the goal, the defenseman as a screen. Van Unen as a screen. That's Steves. He's, he's a shooter. You'll see here, he just steps and waits, uses the goal, the defenseman as a screen. Van Unen. You know what, guys? I think that's one you might want your goaltender to stop at this point of the game. Big moment. Holder of Stace Gall. Half to Gantus. Zinger at the point. Back to Gantus. He walks into the circle. Fire save. Stays call. Back to Gantus. A shot. Another save. The rebound. They score. Tanner Latch completes the hat trick. A power play goal for Latch. It's tied 4 4. It's well, almost like a 1 4 there, Judd. When you, you move that other point man down, he's leaving Zinger up top by himself. And you just flat out outnumber the Bulldog defenders down there. You can't cover everybody. Sidestep Pierce behind the goal, tries to wrap around, and Stasekal got the pad over. 
ends to the far circle. Fires a shot, they score! Michael Messick, Northern Michigan, has their first lead in the hockey game. And that's how many goals from freshmen now? Five on the night and four have come from the rookies. That's an amazing shot from the back there and Slukinski was coming in. If there was any change waiting around, Messick just on the back corner and again, Judd, they lost him on the back side. Yeah, that's one that stage call is gonna wanna have back. It just gets a piece of him and go. Pionk, 200 feet away. Mangini through neutral ice. Mangini to the forehand, the rebound, he scores! Anthony Mangini, how do you do? We're tied, 5-5. Five, five. Well, Anthony Mangini, we talked a lot about him last week. He had the shootout goal and the goal in the game. This will be his second. Is he, again, he follows up on his rebound. A burst of speed across the line. He cuts in a quick... Leaves for Zinger at the line. Zinger through the defense to the back end. And he missed the net. I'm not sure if Stayskull ever got a piece of it. Colella has it at the middle point. What a move by Josh Zinger, but in the end... Weird thing when he's not very good with shootouts. That's not the case with Halas. He is a specialist in these. Quinn Olsen to start the exhibition shootout for UMD. Olsen fires, he scores! Could be my guy. He didn't hit the net in the overtime. Buries it in the shootout. The Bulldogs up 1-0. Well, just simple, right? He goes in, not to keep this one alive. Christoph Papp has to score to keep the game going. Papp in on Stayskull into the backhand. Great move from the senior, and we're tied 1-1. Yeah, nice little move there. He got him, Stagecall moving to his right, and then a quick little cutback. No chance there. Got set up by the first two guys. For when these matter for conference points later in the year. This time Matthew Perkins for the Bulldogs. Fire scores! Matthew Perkins, the freshman for UMD. And now a stop from Stayskull can end things at Amsoil Arena. Yeah, that was again a pretty simple move. He just comes in again from his right to left.